Oh yeah. So one of my clients recently tasked me with making a sink that has this as its output, just a quarter inch wide slot. And uh, I can't tell you what's on the other side because that's their proprietary information. Uh, but uh, interfacing from this to this is something that they did not task me with yet, but I have a feeling it's coming soon. So I'm just going to beat them to the punch. That's today's project. Now the way I want to accomplish this interface is with a drain pan that will come down to a tube that will plug into the P-trap. What we're going to do today is we're going to stretch heated ABS plastic over the top of it and then we're going to use vacuum to suck it down onto this form. So the project starts with a box that will be the vacuum chamber that will suck the plastic down onto the wooden form. The box is going to need a hole in it where the vacuum will uh, be drawn out and it's also going to need inlet holes and we want to drill all those holes first so as to not put all the debris from the holes into the vacuum system. Okay, this is going to be the side and uh, my interface is half inch PVC and uh, I, we'll just put one hole in the side here. And not having done any calculations whatsoever, I think that one eighth inch holes every three quarters of an inch should be just fine. Okay, here's the vacuum chamber. Now we need a frame to hold the ABS plastic that we're going to suck down over the form. And we also need to drill some holes through the form so the vacuum can go through the form and suck the plastic down onto it. Okay, here's our framework and then to attach the ABS plastic I just stapled it on to the back of the framework. Now the next step is I need to put vent holes through the form so the vacuum can get from underneath it out to suck the uh, plastic down onto it. So I don't have to match drill all these holes. I think I'm going to just gouge out a channel down there and then drill holes from the channel out. Okay, I put a pretty crude gouge down the middle. Now I'm just going to drill some vent holes that will uh, suck the plastic down onto the top of the form. Okay, and that should do. And if it doesn't, we'll regroup. Okay, now to secure this in place but not make it permanent, I'm going to go ahead and glue it down with a little bit of silicone. That way I can break it free if I want to vacuum form something different. And while I'm at it, I want to seal the inside and we'll just glue that in. Now we need to interface to the, uh, to the box. And we'll just do that with standard PVC plumbing. And this quarter turn valve is going to be our our blast gate. Since this doesn't have to hold any pressure at all, I think we can go ahead and pull a vacuum on it. Well, that's interesting. Look at that smoke coming off there. This looks like it's ready to test. One thing over here on the box, these two outside rows of holes, they are not going to seal because they are outside the edge here. So we'll just cover those with tape. Now I was going to use the heat gun to heat the ABS, but uh, the heat gun is not going to give me a nice uniform heating. Uh, the, the sheet needs to be up at about 320 degrees, and I think the easiest way to do that is to uh, put it in the oven. And the sheet is too large for my toaster oven, so into the house we go. 
Now I'm not sure how long to leave this in there, but if I just put it in cold and let the oven heat up to 325, I'm thinking this will heat up right along with it. So that's what we'll try first. Taking a look inside there, you can see that the, uh, the ABS has begun to expand and when it gets to the proper temperature, it'll begin to sag. Okay, I'm going to turn the vacuum pump on. So we're ready. I think that stuff that looks like smoke is actually steam. Probably residual moisture in there. You can see there. Yeah, it's starting to sag pretty good. Yeah, it's it's sagging so much it's gonna it's gonna fall through, so I'm gonna pull it down. And here we go! That did not work all that well. Okay, now this time I added some more staples and uh, we'll, we'll see if that helps at all. The ABS has been at 355 this time for about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and try it again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That is much better. Let's get a look at that. That is looking good. Man, that is looking really good. That's a pretty decent fit. Now we can't go right to the P-trap, but we can put an extension on the bottom of that and we got it. Now we'll just cut the excess off with the bandsaw and open up the drain hole and try it out. Okay, so there's my drain opening and there's my drain catch. And that will interface to my P-trap or any inch and a quarter uh, standard sink drain. That is a success. I, oh man, I feel so good about that. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? I am absolutely thrilled by this and I just could not be happier. Now, I, uh, it interfaces to the drain opening that we designed together and I still can't tell you what's on the other side of it because that's my client's proprietary information. But this is mine. I can sell this to whomever I wish so you can look forward to this showing up in my store at wildman.tech. So thanks for stopping in. That's all for this week. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.